on the island of Newfoundland, upon the Selwyn's coast, lies the little town of Virgil, to whom I'll sing this toast. There are so many islands that lie just off her shores, and when the cold you can hear the billows roar The people from the village Make their living from the sea They like their independence It shows that they are free Some fish in their small boats In the wind and sleep while others make their living on the offshore called their fleet they've known their share of tragedy down through the years and when the memories overcome they show their grief with tears For they have lost some loved ones To the furies of the sea For heartaches and heartbreaks Are locked in memory This village, it's got beauty Carved on its rugged shore Seven miles of pure white sand who could ask for more? The mountains and the valleys Where the rivers run so fast And the salmon rise to the sportsman's fly As he makes another cast Tell the people of this village Love their native bones for anyone who goes away, most surely will return. It's like that lifelong mystery, the answer you won't know. What makes this rugged village burn so deeply in your soul? This rugged village burns so deeply in your soul. Good evening, and welcome to This Week in Review. Tonight in our stories, we have Fire Call, Work on the Playground, Fixing Leaks, Vandalism, Town Council Report. Please stay tuned for these stories after this. I remember when I was young, this old rifle would lean against the wall at home. Always loaded, easy for anyone to pick up. No kidding, Grandpa? Really? Yeah, it was right out in the open. Then one day, something awful happened. Daddy! It didn't need to. Boy, I'm sure glad they're safe. Now they can't get into the wrong hands. Throughout the week, the fire department received a call to a home where smoke was coming out of their furnace. The fire department's quick response was able to prevent a fire from happening. Also, the Honorable Kevin O'Brien, Minister of Municipal Affairs and Minister Responsible for Fire and Emergency Services, announced that as a part of an unprecedented investment in the Municipal Fire Service, the town of Burgio will receive a new fire department vehicle. Efforts of volunteer firefighters throughout Newfoundland and Labrador are critical to emergency responses, says Minister O'Brien. This year, our government has committed significant resources to enhance the equipment available to our firefighters and emergency personnel in order to ensure that they are prepared for a variety of circumstances. Burgio will receive a new rescue vehicle through a 90-10 cost share arrangement with the provincial government. Public tenders for new firefighting vehicles 
will be lit this summer, with delivery expected in 2012. Members of Burgio Fire Service not only provide fire suppression services, they also provide emergency response capacity to approximately 100 kilometers of remote highway, says Minister O'Brien. This new rescue vehicle will provide Burgio emergency personnel with a modern vehicle to respond to highway related incidents and other emergency situations in the region. Budget 2011, Standing Strong for Prosperity for Our Future for Newfoundland and Labrador provides an historic investment in the Municipal Fire Service. The provincial government has invested $3.9 million towards a firefighting vehicles, as well as a continued $1 million allocations to fund equipment needs to assist communities. In addition, a new provincial volunteer firefighter tax credit to acknowledge the commitment of the men and women in the volunteer fire services has been introduced. In total, the provincial government has allocated more than $6 million towards the municipal fire services this year. South Coast Construction has begun work on the playground for the mini soccer field, which is out to be completed before school starts on September 6th. They are now waiting to lay the sods. Virgil Town Council has been out during the week repairing waterline leaks and replacing old copper pipes with new plastic pipes. RCMP is seeking information on the persons responsible for spray painting the school and maiden tea ill. Those responsible are asked to come forward and take responsibility. Please call the RCMP at 886-2241 if you have any information. Planting trees in our communities is well worth the effort. But if you don't look after them, they may not make it. Urban trees need a little maintenance to survive. Not much. But your extra care will help replenish the urban forest and give us something we all need. Fresh air. Trees do their part. Let's do ours. Mayor Jerome McNall came by with his town council report. Good evening, your town council report for August 24th. Town council held his meeting. And since that meeting, uh, I guess the first item on the agenda that I want to mention about, uh, as you're aware, last year the town applied for uh, funding for a, a fire emergency van for our fire department. 
And as of last week, we were notified by the minister, Mr. Kevin O'Brien, that uh, this was approved and uh, the town will receive its new van uh, sometime in 2012. Those vans have to be manufactured and my understanding is that there's several around the province that's going to be manufactured at the one time with uh, the contract that's going to be lit. So therefore, we're not sure of the uh, exact cost of the van, but uh, the estimated cost that we have is $225,000. So it's a top of the line van that's equipped for emergency service. And uh, this van is, uh, it's going to be 90-10 uh, cost shared by the province and uh, the town of Virgil. And our 10%, I guess, uh, in the town of Virgil that we had to pay will be also cost shared between the town and our fire department. Uh, the van is uh, equipped with, uh, uh, I guess, the I should say the van, the van has uh, space to carry firefighters in seating capacities and, uh, and equipped to carry extra gear and the jaws of life and the van or our service sometimes take our firefighters 100 kilometers uh, out of the town on the Berger Road and this van will be certainly suitable and adequate for uh, this type of service, uh, vehicle uh, accidents and stuff like that and also for any emergency that may arise in the community due to uh, hurricanes or storms. So we're pleased to see that the minister has announced for Virgil this uh, funding for the van, and uh, we certainly want to thank them uh, for that. Water treatment plant. Engineers uh, will be in on Wednesday to check the chlorine levels in our water treatment uh, system. And hopefully they can boost the chlorine enough or come up with some suggestions to uh, get the water treated uh, all around the community so we can lift this boil order. And speaking of water, uh, people still have three months to prepare for the winter season to insulate their pipes and dig them down deeper and try to uh, keep them from freezing uh, so you won't have to run your water this winter. And we encourage people to do that because, as you're aware, this uh, treatment plant is certainly going to be a, a costly thing to operate it. And last month, our light bill in that treatment plant was $5,000 alone. So anyway, we can cut the cost on operating that plant, and we have to. I'd also like to point out that if anybody see any water leaks around town, anywhere, just call the town office and make us aware of it, and we'll certainly... Uh, repair those leaks. Garbage collection. As you're aware, the garbage collection contract has gone to tender again and it's been called this time for one year and the reasons for having a one-year contract this time is because we're not sure uh, where this uh, waste disposal uh, situation is going to be in a year's time and uh, we don't want to lock ourselves in on any longer contract in one year. So uh, it's gone to tender now, and uh, hopefully somebody will uh, apply for this uh, contract. Replacement of sewer line in the Mrs. area Mr. by Mr. Brian Hingrums, that $97,000 project I mentioned in my last report. <clears throat> that was approved. Uh, Bay New Plan sent their engineer out and done a survey of that area. And uh, hopefully that will go to tender in the very near future because we certainly want that job done before the end of this year. Your playground that I've been talking about for a while, the mini soccer field, has been completed by Cooper's Construction. Uh, this area will be closed for another week uh, due to the sods as to be watered uh, for a few days and give them time to settle and start growing. And uh, this should be a very uh, nice uh, soccer field for our students and people to uh, play soccer. It's all a part of improving our playground. 
Also at the same time, Cooper's Construction also clean and widen the drain from Shake Pond to Mr. Orm Skinner's. So this would give a good flow of water out to uh, Eelbrook and keep the pond levels down. <clears throat> damage, I want to mention some damage. Uh, and I guess still with the playground. Uh, over the last month, there was some damage done on our playground. And, and this type of uh, attitude, it was uh, certainly not done uh, fairly. Uh, but this type of attitude will not be tolerated. And if it continues, we may have to put an age limit on the playground. Uh, I also noticed uh, while walking through the playground last week, uh, there was a lot of litter over around the playground, pop cans, chip bags, and that sort of thing. And we do have four garbage cans on that playground. And uh, I encourage people and asked them to put the garbage in the cans. Because as you're aware, last year I reported on here on uh, BBS that uh, we did receive complaints from a couple of people visit our community last year. They took their kids to the playground and they certainly uh, weren't impressed with the, the garbage that was around that playground. So I encourage everyone to use the uh, garbage cans on the playground. Also, Demis, uh, someone has been spray painting on Mantillo. Uh, that boardwalk and platform was put there for the people of Berger to use to take a hike and uh, get up and look at the scenery around the community. It's been there for several years now. And also our tourist industry certainly enjoy that area. Over the last week or so, there's been somebody up there uh, spray painting that area. And also at the same time, I guess they spray painted on the back of the school. Uh, this type of behavior is not to be tolerated as well. And I encourage anyone who knows anything about this to contact the town office or the RCMP. And on Tuesday night, Tuesday or Wednesday night of this week, someone took a flower out of one of the flower pots on the town council office bridge. And again, we're not going to tolerate this type of thing. And uh, if this stuff continues, we're certainly going to have to sit up some surveillance cameras around. As you're aware, there are cameras around this community now on different uh, business. But uh, if this continues, we'll certainly have to put some kind of a surveillance camera around and trying to catch the people that's involved in doing those uh, mischief things. But anybody uh, who's aware of anybody who take in the flowers, just contact the town office and we'll certainly appreciate it. Building applications. Approval was given at our last council meeting for two businesses to construct extensions to their business. And also permission was given for an extension to a dwelling and the construction of two sheds. Correspondence. There were 11 items of correspondence dealt with at our August 24th meeting. Cancer relay is scheduled for September 24th. Uh, I encourage people to get out and make an effort to support this relay. It's a very important event that takes place around the province every year. So we encourage everyone to get involved and let's uh, see what we can do to fight this dreadful disease called cancer. And the moose season opening next week. I just want to remind everybody to be safe, wear blaze, orange, red, and good luck to all hunters. Have a safe and enjoyable hunting season. And also at that time, I guess the berry pickers is out and on the go, and I would encourage the berry pickers to wear red and blaze colors as well because we do know that accidents happen, so prepare yourself when you go out in the woods. School opening. Next week, your school opens, and it seems like only a, a week or so ago I sat there and said to the students, the school is going to be out, and things of that nature, enjoy your summer. Uh, next week, the school reopens, so uh, I want to encourage all students to work hard, and listen to your parents, your teachers, and, and at the end of the year, I'm sure you will advance in your marks. And, uh, I want to say good luck to all students and teachers for uh, the school year opening in September. 
Safety is also a big concern when our school opens again, and I want to say to the students, uh, be careful getting on and off the school bus. And also on our crosswalks here, be careful, look both ways before you cross. And uh, I think safety is everybody's concern, and we cannot express safety enough. And also the drivers that drive uh, this road here, pay special attention to the speed uh, on, in the school zones. And we will certainly be asking the RCMP to enforce the school zone speed limit. So good luck to all the students and teachers, and have a safe and enjoyable school year. Invoices were approved for payment in the amount of $8,661.69. Our next scheduled council meeting is scheduled for September 21st, and at that meeting, RCMP will be attending, and we will certainly be discussing uh, policing in the community. Uh, little did you know, in 1982 to 1985, the mayor of Virgil was Lloyd Ellier, and the deputy mayor was Gerald McDonald, and Millie Dahl was counselor, Eric Parson was counselor, Blaine Marks was counselor, Michael Divin was counselor, and Samuel Billard was counselor. And Stanley Kosser was town clerk, and Dougley, Douglas Cannell was town manager. A little history of your community from 1982 to 1985. Until the next time, good night, be safe, and may God bless. This concludes our program for tonight. Thank you for watching. Good night.